Hi, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're going to look at how to find people in your organization using Delve. So Delve is really easy to access wherever you are in Office 365. You're going to need to do it through the browser and you'll come to the top right hand corner here, click on the account icon and then press my profile. That's going to take you through to the Delve page, your Delve page, and it's going to show you profile information about yourself. So you'll see things like uh, your job title, contact details, and documents you've been working on. Here I'm logged in as Megan, so I'm seeing Megan's information. You can see down here we've got a card for her, uh, information about her, about me, experiences she's had, jobs she's had, and so on. Now on the right up here we'll see some documents she's been working on and other people that are close to her and what they've been working on as well. The relationship between people in the organization is very important here because what Office 365 does is make recommendations based on the kinds of interactions you have with other people in the organization. So if you share a document with somebody or you schedule a meeting with somebody, Office 365 is gonna start to assume that you have a relationship with that person and it's going to show you information that they've been working on. So it kind of builds a picture of you based on the activity you have throughout Office 365. Now, if I'm looking for someone in particular in my organization, I can come up to the search bar in Delve and just by clicking on the search bar, it's actually going to show me a list of people that it thinks I might be interested in based on activity and relationships. If I want to search for someone specific, I just start to type their name and you can see I've typed an AL and it's brought me back already the people with uh, that string in their name. I'm just going to complete the string and say Alex and here's the person I'm looking for, Alex. So I can click on Alex's name. Now you can see it's taking me to Alex's Delve page and I can see Alex's contact information. I can see the documents he's been working on, the people he's close to and so on. At the bottom here, you also see a, an organization chart and I can click on to Alex's boss, Miriam, and it takes me to her Delve page. And now I can see all the same information about her. One interesting thing to have a look at here is the profile. So if I click on view profile, it's going to take me into Miriam's profile and show me um, information about her, for example, projects she's been working on. So I can see if I was interested in connecting with someone who worked on a specific project, I could see here which project she's been working on. I've also got other things like skills and experience, schools and education, and even her interests and hobbies. You can see here she's interested in wine, for example. Now this is interesting because I can actually come up to the search bar again and type in wines and search for people interested in wine, so people who have wines in their profile. So that's important because it means that anything that you put in the profile is searchable. So if you want to be found through your love of wine, you can do that. So it's brought me back Miriam, I can click on her as a result and it will take me through to her Delve page. So in this video we looked at how to find people in your organization using Delve in Office 365. 